Good morning everyone and welcome to today's AVS 1 class. So we are going to discuss chapter 9 that is birds and this is also the first chapter of term 2. So what are the important topics that we are going to cover in this chapter? The topics are birds and their body parts, beaks, claws and sound of birds, birds that travel and also the final topic which is bird watching. Okay so birds it's quite familiar to all of us every day we see around our surrounding in our surrounding the various types of birds so uh, what help us to identify that they are birds and not any other animals such as cats or dogs so definitely the wings which we see is uh, not seen in any other animals so that uh, help us to identify a bird so let's see okay so what is the learning outcome so at the end of today's class you will be able to identify and list some examples of birds so we will study some characteristics of the birds and therefore uh, you will be able to identify and list some examples of birds based on those characteristics which we are going to discuss in today's class then these are some keywords which we have to associate here uh, wings feathers tail pattern teeth feet claws now the teeth word even though it we have to associate in this chapter but we have to uh, take it as a part of the characteristics that does not exist for the birds so teeth is not present in birds so anyway this is going to be the keyword because teeth is not present it is absent in the birds so even though i have written here it has some kind of importance because this will help us to know that birds do not have teeth so birds do not have teeth then these are some pictures and if i ask you to identify which is the bird here i think quite easily you can identify so here obviously this picture is your what bird so this is the second picture is the bird so it's quite easy to identify simply i have so new so that you can differentiate uh, the bird from other animals then okay so similarly the way i have shown you uh, the some pictures and out of those pictures you were asked to identify birds amman's teacher showed him the given pictures which is which are shown here the pictures of a duck and a dog she asked him to identify the bird amman quickly gave the correct answer so how did amman spot the difference between a dog and a bird it's quite clear so you can see here they have feathers or wings and this is the dog so it's not difficult to identify the difference between them so based on this we'll uh, understand few of the characteristics of birds that make them different from other animals let's see what are the characteristics okay what makes birds look different from other animals birds have wings and feathers which we have discussed already they have a pair of wings and a tail covered with feathers in most kind of birds the feathers help them to fly feathers are soft hair present all over the body including the wings and tail they are of different color and they are they form different patterns as well so these are some of the important characteristics of the birds that make them look different from other animals like birds have wings and feathers so clearly wings and feathers are visible on the body of birds so these wings and feathers they help the birds to fly so they have a pair of wings and a tail covered with feathers they also have tail that can control the direction in which they want to fly so basically that's a steering of the bird the tail in most kinds of birds the feathers help them to fly feathers are soft here so what are feathers feathers are soft hair present all over the body including the wings and tail so it is present everywhere on the body of the birds they have different colors they are of different color and also they form different patterns so if we observe two or three different types of birds we will observe that the color uh, the color is different and also they have a specific pattern so we'll also see different types of patterns when we see some examples of birds in the upcoming slides 
okay so once again we can summarize the characteristics of birds so what are the characteristics of bird the birds are animals which have feathers then they have feathers they have beaks and claws the absence of teeth so they do not have what teeth as we have discussed uh, in the very beginning the absence of teeth and also the external ears so teeth and external ears are not seen in the birds so they are not part of what their body structure and so these are the characteristic features of birds so they have they are the animals which have feathers beaks and claws but they do not have teeth and external ears so these are the characteristics of birds let's see what are the body parts of birds okay so here is a diagram showing different body parts of a bird so we have the important parts such as uh, feather and wing we have already discussed now this is also important the tail that guides their direction while flying then body legs beak again important property or characteristics of birds and of course i all other animals too have so but what makes it different this body parts feather wings tail then beaks so some birds cannot fly for example a penguin spends most of its life in the sea it does not use its wings to fly it uses them to swim birds like ostrich also cannot fly so you can see here the diagram of penguin and ostrich the picture here is the picture is penguin and these are the birds that cannot fly why uh, now ostrich is quite heavy so they cannot fly although penguin can swim in water so they spend most uh, penguins they spend most of their uh, life in the sea so they have the ability to swim in the water so this is all about today's class in the next class we'll discuss about the different types of beaks and what are the different types of beaks present in different birds and on what basis they have uh, a specific type of beaks so all those things we'll discuss in the next class so that's all for today thank you very much